going to do a bear. So this one you need to start with pencil instead of a black marker because there's a lot of lines that we don't keep. So we're going to draw his nose. So that's just the big part that this needs to be light. And then you're going to draw a bigger nose and the place where the highlights will be. And you can make him happy, you can make him sad, maybe not so sad because he's a happy bear. Okay, then we're going to draw the eyes. Don't forget your highlight. Okay, if you want them closer together, that's okay too. This is where we're going to draw his sweater first. So we're just going to go down and then draw his lines. This is okay if you draw darker, it's no biggie. Okay. Now here's the part where we need to be light because we aren't going to keep these lines. We're going to erase them. So we're going to draw a little bit of a continuous line. We're going to draw a light outline. Okay, it's okay if it's not perfect. Some bare ears. Bare ear. And I'll zoom in for you to see how light those lines are. Okay. So now let's do it with our Sharpie or your black marker or purple marker. Maybe you want a purple bear. I don't mind if you're at home. Oh, let's outline our highlights so we make sure we don't color those in first. Okay. And now you can color in that nose. What a cutie nose this bear has. Okay, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video. So we're not outlining this bit. We're going to keep it there. Okay, um, so let's do the eyes. Okay. And then we're going to start from the top down. But let's do his little beardy beard first. So he's got a little beard and we want it to be darker so we're just going to do the lines closer together. Okay. Now this is markers of where we're supposed to draw lines, like the texture lines and where we're not. So I'm going to start from the top like a hairline would. And then I'm going to go in that same shape that I'm going. So you notice I'm going in a curved line. Okay, so you need to do that until you hit here. So when you hit here, it's going to start doing this. So I'm going to just go and do that part. So I made three, four rows of this, and now I'm going to go here. Oh, let's pause. I forgot to do one step. So let's do our eyes first before we go too crazy. So we need two around those beautiful cutie eyes. And then now we can go closer so we can tell where the eyes are. Okay, and now that we're getting to the ears, we're all going to go in the same direction. So the ear hair goes like this, and we don't want to get inside. So let's just skip that little bit. And then we're going to continue these lovely lines here. So then let's do it again over here. Going around the ear shape. Okay. We're going to go down in the same order once we finish this part up. So we're going to go in a straight line and again don't go in this spot because we want to see our whole bear. And you should go across, skip, and go so you don't accidentally make a bunch of lines that don't go together like I just did. Ooh. 
let's see, there he's coming together. And if you want to go back and add more, that's okay too. Bloop, 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 bloop. And then remember his sweater is here. So don't draw those lines going in the sweater unless you want a naked bear. And that's your choice, isn't it? Now I'm going to draw this line, and this line, and then this line. I should probably be going a lot slower because I don't want to mess up. Now you can draw those sweater lines so we have a warm bear. Okay, now you can erase those pencil lines that we did really lightly, and your bear will start coming together. see that he's all barren in some spots you can go back and add some fur because we don't mind a furry bear I'm cool with that too what a cutie um I like that too if you really want to focus on his eyes just go back and add some more lines but don't make a big circle cool okay um now I can make my patterns on my sweater which I'm gonna do 